Hey everyone, it's Jessenia. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to start off by saying before anything else that I am going to leave some timestamps in the description box. So if you want to skip the intro, because I feel like it's going to be a little rambly and long, uh, you can go ahead and do that or just skip around the video. So I will put some timestamps down there and you guys can just skip to whatever part you want to watch or you can just hang out with me for a little bit here but i just wanted to say hi before i got into this flip through as you know we're, i mean as you probably know by the title i'm going to be doing a flip through of my new planner setup which i am obsessed with i really love it uh, but before that i just wanted to say hi because it's been a while since i filmed a video uh, if you've been watching my previous few plan with me's that did go up on my channel you'll probably know that october was pretty busy month and november has been pretty similar i've had just a lot of travel plans i've had a lot of people come and visit me and stay with um stay at our apartment and i just had a, had a very large workload so it's been a little bit of a hectic a few months and sadly filming has been a little bit hard to do in between all of that so uh, unfortunately I had to kind of just make a decision and stop filming for a few weeks so it's been a few weeks since I've been on here and I do miss it so much I really enjoy being able to share my planner with you guys and be able to interact with you guys too it feels really strange even when I take a week off so this many weeks always feels really weird but I did want to film this setup because I love it so so much I thought about doing it on Instagram but honestly I just wanted it in with like pretty lights and I wanted to be able to share it really properly and I wanted to be able to like save it on here forever because I do have all of my other setups on here as well so I decided to uh, pull out my lights for just one video today and I'm hoping that I'll probably be back to normal sometime in December I haven't quite figured it out so I'm not entirely sure but that's my hope so we'll see how that goes if not definitely in January but I'm hoping in December I should be fine and I can start filming again especially because the holidays are the best so I really want to be able to get a few holiday plan with me's up on my channel and share that as well so we'll see but you know in the meantime I've been on Instagram a ton if you guys follow me there you've seen me I've post stories all the time and I did a live haul on there which was so much fun I really really enjoyed that I feel like being able to do things real time and interact and have conversations as I'm sharing everything is so much fun I also have I have quite a few things that I still need to haul uh, since that one I have quite a few things ha that have come in so I was thinking that I might do another live haul on Instagram at some point maybe next week I'm not really sure but if you guys are like interested in that then you can follow along on Instagram and yeah I will be there uh, it's just a lot easier it's so much more quicker in real time so Instagram is really fun for stuff like that but you know I wanted to do this here on YouTube and be able to say hi to you guys and also happy Thanksgiving for any of you who celebrate it because this is Thanksgiving week. I think this is probably going to go up the day before. So I hope you guys have a great holiday with your families and just, you know, have an awesome weekend and happy shopping because we all know we're going to be doing that this weekend. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into the, uh, the planner here. So I'm probably going to ramble a little bit more. This is going to be the chattiest flip through ever, but, um, I had been in a personal wide ring bound. I'm going to talk kind of about my transition from planners because I've had so many people asking me questions about that. So let's do a little ramble about like planners and stuff. But as you know, or if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I was in a B6 traveler's notebook for quite some time and I loved that size. And for a long time, I had thought about moving into a ring bound planner, but I really wanted the size of a b6 in a ring bound planner the closest to that at the time anyways was a personal wide which is what i have here and i was a little bit hesitant with it i wasn't sure how i was going to like it because i really like the b6 if you guys plan the way i do then you probably also enjoy a b6 because with a b6 you can you're able to get like three columns across your weekly page and uh that fits stickers in them which for weekly planners, that's a huge deal for us. That's really important. So I think that's why B6 is probably so popular. But, you know, with the personal wide, it still doesn't allow for that many boxes across. So I was a little hesitant. I wasn't sure how I was going to like it. Uh, since I've moved into this uh, B6 ring bound planners goodness i'm getting all tongue twisted but b6 ring bound planners have become kind of like a thing now and more 
more and more planner stores are coming out with them so those are in existence and i've had a lot of you ask me if i'm going to move from a personal wide to a b6 rings and i have no plans to i i'm not going to say never because I don't know, I've definitely switched different, you know, to different planners over the years. And I think, you know, it really depends on personal preference, but also sometimes lifestyle really changes the planner that you want to be using. Because when you're on the go, you might want something smaller. When you're home, you might want something bigger that you can lay open. And, you know, everyone has their personal preference. So I'll never say never, but at the moment, I am so happy in my personal wide. I have no plans to move into any other size anytime soon. I'm going to stick to this one because I am... In love with it i just think it's perfect so that's my little spiel on that and this is the first time i've set up this this size and a ring bound planner in a long time when i was previously in a ring bound planner it was an a5 ring bound planner and i wasn't as into decorating as i am now and this time i really feel like i just did it up and i love how it turned out i forced myself to take a day to set it all up and make it look cute because I knew I needed it. I needed like a moment to myself. So I had, you know, I kind of like booked in a planner day for myself, which sounds weird, but I did that and I got it all set up and I'm really loving how it turned out. So that's my little spiel on the sizes and everything, but let's get into the actual flip through and the planner that I have here. All right. So as I've mentioned, I think already the planner itself is a Pele Studio planner and it is stunning. The Pele Studio planners, if you're not familiar with them, are a beautiful quality. The leathers are really gorgeous. She's got lots of beautiful colors. And the thing I love most about her planners are the scalloped spine. As you can see here, the spine has this scallop detail at the edge there, and it is gorgeous. I think it's really signature of their planners, and it just is such a a really pretty detail and touch to the planner especially you know something that's all black and super sleek and it just has that kind of feminine touch to it that little bit of softness that i just i think it's really really gorgeous i believe she does have the option to do a straight spine if you want i have you know never opted that into that option because i think the scallop is gorgeous uh there aren't a lot of like customization options the thing that you can generally customize i think is the scallop or the straight and she does on some planners have the option to do different leather on the like main planner versus the spine so i've seen you know i have one that's like a pink on here and then the spine is rose gold so you can kind of mix and match the spine with the rest of the planner as a different color but other than that it's pretty much as it is and they're so beautiful i don't see a need to even change anything because they're gorgeous so i've been really loving this one it is a black saffiano leather you can kind of see there the um the texture from the saffiano leather and then yeah i just got all you know black on black on black it's gorgeous. I love it so much. It's the first time in a long time that I've opted into a darker color and I am really enjoying it. I was a little bit intimidated at first because if you guys are familiar with, you know, me and my aesthetic, I really enjoy softer pastel colors, but I am obsessed with this one. So yeah, on the front there, I do have this little charm that is from the Fox and Pip. It says port key on it and it's in the shape of a key. I love it. It's so cute. It's a little nod to Harry Potter. So I think it's a really subtle nod to harry potter and i just really enjoy it so i put that on the front i really like that it's you know small it's metal so i don't have to worry about it getting damaged or be too careful with it because i have been traveling quite a bit as i mentioned so it's just nice to have something that i don't have to worry too much about so let me go ahead and zoom in just a little bit wrong way all right, so this is the inside of the planner. Oh, I love it so much. I just think it came out so, so, so pretty. Um, yeah, so I'll just kind of walk through where everything's from. I haven't done really a flip through. I'm so used to doing setups that I feel weird just telling you guys where things are from. But anyways, I have this paper in the back here. I generally cut down a piece of paper that I like to kind of put in the pocket. I think it looks really nice in the background. It just has a gray background with the gold, rose gold marbling. And I think this was from Hobby Lobby. And so I just have that in the background. You'll see that a couple more times. And I often do that. I take a pattern and I kind of repeat it out just to kind of tie everything together. I also have this card, which is a journaling card that I got from a Shop Jessica Hart's order. And I thought it matched really nicely, that kind of burgundy kind of color. So I just kind of have it peeking out here. I also have this sticker sheet here that has some bows on it. That is from The Giving Girl. 
and then a bookmark that is from my newest addiction that has a bunch of shades of gray with some rose gold so i just kind of have that tucked in and peeking out so everything's just kind of peeking out i think it's really cute and just kind of ties in quite a few of the colors that i have going on in here and then i have this little die cut that is from an old crafts by towie like kit or something and these little rose gold mickey ears which i thought was perfect perfect because i did go to disneyland last week so i had those in there and those are from pigtails and pockets which are gorgeous this funnily enough is from if you guys are into makeup and you like charlotte tilbury you'll recognize this a little bit but it's a burgundy just like piece of paper that has a little rose gold star in the corner and she has that's part of her packaging so i ordered a what did I order? Some sort of palette or something? Where did I have this? Um, I ordered some sort of palette and it came, it was quite large. So I just cut that out because I thought, oh, that matches my setup. So I just have it as there as a little bit of a background paper. This is a custom sticker that uh, Amanda from the Fox and Pip made me forever ago of me and my husband. Why isn't this auto focusing? There we go. So that is the two of us and um, our cat, Boris. And I just really so love it. So she did that as a little favor for me. She just made it into a clip as a little friendly gesture. And I have, I think I've had this in every single setup since she's made it for me. I just love it so much. I think it's really cute. So I usually put it in the front pocket. And then I have a Clever Girl Crafts bow here with the black and the rose gold, which I think is really pretty in just kind of tucked into the pocket there like that. So those are my pockets. Then on the front here, I went ahead and cut a piece of a vellum that is just a plain sheet of vellum. And I hand lettered my own name, which honestly, it's so funny. I've never lettered my own name before until recently. And I went ahead and lettered it. I thought it came out so cute and I cut it out of some rose gold, uh, vinyl and stuck it on a piece of plain vellum that I cut down to size. So I have that on here in the front and that is over top of a print from Holly Nichols. You guys know that I love her prints so, so much. I've been using them for forever. And if you're wondering, it's a question I get asked a lot as well. This is a five by seven card and I trimmed it down to the dimensions of a personal wide page size. Uh, you can get the four by six, but it's a little bit smaller. So you know, you'll have gaps. So I prefer getting the larger, the five by seven, and then just trimming it down to the size. And I did laminate it so that I could use it as a dashboard and, you know, not damage it or anything. So that is that. Then I have here a piece of vellum that I foiled some, a drawing of Boris that I did. It's the silliest thing, but I love it so much. That's what it looks like. Um, so I have that in there, just kind of tucked in. I think that's what's fun about rings too is I feel like you can add so much into the planner and just keep layering and adding and adding. So that's that. My dividers I made myself but um, Amanda kind of she sent me these like header things as a favor. So Amanda from the Fox and Pip and they are so so beautiful. That's what they look like. I love them so much. So I did do top tabs. This is the first time I've ever done top tabs and I really enjoy them. I felt like there wasn't a whole ton of space on the side of the planner when it's closed. So I opted to do top tabs and I'm really enjoying them. So they're all custom. They like say today, schedule, list, whatever I need. And um, they're in the same like rose gold vinyl color. And I did, you know, mix them with vellum in here. So it's kind of like slightly opaque a little bit if that makes sense in there and yeah that's those are my dividers so I love them I think they're really pretty the way I did this section though is I have two like subdividers so under my today section this first part is like they're my weekly pages you guys are familiar with those and then this first subsection of the today marks my pre-plan section and then the second one marks my monthly section so I kind of put that all under the today and I just did these like two subdividers and then everything else has its own section. That's kind of how I did that. So anyways, that's the beginning. And then here, these I made for myself as well. It's just, I bought some clip art online and put it together with some lettering that I purchased online as well. And I foiled the lettering and just kind of made these little things. You'll see a few of these throughout. So this is the first one that says pumpkin patch cutie. And then I did make these little um, covers for myself. I just printed a light gray color on some blank paper and I foiled 
weekly at the bottom and different sections of course have different titles but that's what that looks like and then just a piece of vellum that I printed out myself as well that I thought looked really pretty with some of the colors that I had going on in here I always like to kind of throw in a floral and then as you saw this is my weekly layout here and that's what that looks like I do generally mark it with a paper clip that this one is from Kanko XOXO she has these beautiful wide paper clips and these two little charms are actually from a different paper clips but I pulled them out and stuck them on this one together they are all from her shop I just kind of I don't know combined a few together so that's the first section there then at the end of this section I did make myself a divide I mean sorry a folder which I really really like so this folder I'm gonna open this I always get scared to open rings this, am I the only person who feels that way but anyways this folder is really fun I am not like a folder maker by any means but I was trying to figure this out and it actually wasn't too hard but I laminated the whole thing so I'm sorry it's a little bit shiny but it's that same gray marble paper I did put this initial on here that Amanda from the Fox and Pip sent me how beautiful is that I think she's gonna release these in the shop but they're like monograms and they look like they are taped down with bow washi that has her bows on it so it's pretty damn cute sorry for my language but it's pretty cute so this I laminated the whole thing so how it works is it's it just kind of sits in here as you guys saw the back of it has a pocket that I made out of vellum so it's just like that and then when you pull the thing out of the rings you open it up and there are two pockets inside so I really like the idea of this that way I can kind of keep things more secure and also kind of hide things away not like hide things away but sometimes I like to keep I don't know receipts or just information or something like that so if I want to keep anything private I can kind of keep it on the inside folder but I can also put cute things over here or I can put stuff that doesn't really matter on the outside so I kind of have you know folders and folders and folders but I think that's pretty cool I like how that turned out so I've got that in there and then my subcategory another one of these little vellums that I made and I have it just kind of paper clipped at the top with another K&Co XOXO paper clip Inside here, I do have this postcard that is from the Starbucks Reserve Roastery. I thought it was really pretty. It came in a pack of postcards and this one was rose gold and it has a drawing of the building on the front. And because I recently moved to Seattle and I also love Starbucks, I thought it was cute to just kind of add in here and it matched the setup. So I just punched it and popped it in. So this is my pre-plan sheet that I have in here. This is just a horizontal weekly with a list section on the right-hand side. These are for all the inserts in here from my shop. So yeah. That is what that one looks like and I have it in the pink and I love these. I love being able to jot down appointments and then jot down things that I need to do on the list section, of course. So that is that one. And then my next sub little section. And here I have kind of like two pages that I put together. I took that out, but um, I have a photo that I printed out of me and my husband. And then I have this vellum sheet that I got from I can't remember what shop. I'll try to find it and link it in the description below. But I purchased this quote from an Etsy shop and I just printed it on vellum and foiled it and layered it on top. And I like how it looks kind Love. of layered. clip is from I don't remember where. I think a few different people sell things like very similar. So I just clipped it at the top to kind of clip the two pages together, the vellum and the cardstock. So it just looks like that. And I think it's really sweet. I like how that turned out a lot. And then here, this is from Craftsway Towie. It's pretty old that little bit. And then my next little section here, which is my monthly, this is the month on two pages. And then we move on to my schedule section there. You'll notice I have a ton of Holly Nichols prints in here as well. I just love them and I had so many for fall that I went ahead and just popped them all in. I thought, whatever, I can do whatever I want. It's my planner. Um, anyways, this vellum is gorgeous. This is from the Fox and Pip. She released these a few weeks ago and I bought them in all the colors and I got multiples because I love them so much. It's such a great quality and I think they're really cute. I love her bows. As I mean, I have them everywhere in this planner, so of course I do. Uh, yeah, so I have that layered on top of a Holly Nichols print. This is one of her fall ones. Again, I got the 5x7, trimmed it down, and laminated it. Then here for my schedule, I have the, I call it the double perpetual calendar, but it's just 
yeah, it's two columns of the same thing and it's dated. So I like to write down my YouTube schedule and my shop schedule. And this just kind of helps me kind of coordinate videos and releases and everything all together. So I have that in there. Then at the end of that section, I just have a little folder here. It's a secretarial pocket, as you can see there. And that's from the Foxy Fix. And I just popped it in here with a few like stickers and little bits. This quote here is from See Amy Draw. And it is a Kate Spade quote. Mandy from Mandy Dreams sent that to me in some Happy Mail, and it's so cute. I really like it. That's what it looks like. And her writing is really beautiful. So that's from, I don't know if she still has that in her shop, but if you like the handwriting, the handwriting is from C. Amy Draw. So that's that. These stickers are from Crafts by Towie, and then this little die cut is something I made for myself. Then on the back, it's pretty much the same exact pocket on the back. I just have some different stickers. So I have my nose addiction and paper blush bar stickers in there that just are fall themed and I thought were pretty that I could pull from throughout the month. Then I have a brain dump section here. This looks very similar to the last one, just with different print, but I have the same Fox and Pip bell in there and another Holly Nichols print. This one is probably one of my favorites. It's so, so pretty. And I think especially with that bow vellum that I had in the front, it just coordinates so perfectly. So. That is that one. And then for my brain dump section, I have a bunch of just grid paper. It's probably hard to see on camera, but it's a pink grid paper. So it's just a light pink color. And I thought that was nice because I can put lists in there. I can write ideas. I can draw ideas. I can do anything I kind of, you know, want in that section. And it's, it's really nice. So I have that for my brain dump section. Then the next section is lists in here. I've got another one of those vellums. This one says, happy fall, y'all. And then my cover page that's for lists. And some more of that vellum. See, this is what I felt like. It just coordinates so beautifully. Right? I don't know. I love that. And my list section, always the same. I just love these so much. They are just the four section lists in my shop. And I think that these are probably my favorite inserts of all time because you can kind of write different, you have different lists going at the same time and you can kind of, I don't know, they work for me. So I have those in there. Then at the back, I do have this little credit card. This was a freebie from the Fox and Pip that she posted a long time ago and I went ahead and foiled it on some vellum and laminated it to just kind of punch in here. And I kept it small and just kind of punched the bottom so it just kind of hangs out down here. Then I have my finances section with a piece of vellum here and I have my name up at the top in vinyl. That is from Amanda as well. She sent that to me with some happy mail or yeah. And I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. I really love it. So I went ahead and uh, put it at the top there over another Holly Nichols print. This one I had since last year and I really wanted to pop it in this planner because the first time I ever set up a TN setup, it was for fall and I use this print in it. So it was a little sentimental. Um, then I have some post-its here. I do like to put post-its somewhere in my planner. So these sticky notes are from Crafts by Towie. They do have gold foiling, but I think I mentioned that before. If I didn't, I really don't. I'm not a stickler for having to have everything one foil color or one metallic color. So yeah, I have those there. I think they're really beautiful. And then this vellum with the hearts is from Ribbon and Nib. She also has it in pink as well. And she's got a lot of other really beautiful vellums in her shop. So I put that in there. And this is my finances section. I actually have a monthly in here, so that's what it looks like. And this works really well for me because I do like to see the calendar, but I usually put some like statistics, if that makes sense, up in here. But I separate different incomes that I receive because I do work for myself, so I it helps me track my income with all different sections. So that's what I use for my finances. I do have another one of these Canco clips in here. And then behind that, I do have this little envelope. This is a vellum mar marbled envelope and it's just a basic envelope that I went ahead and punched with my hole punch and stuck it in here. And I put it at the back of my finances section because as I mentioned, I use this for work and stuff. And if I purchase something for, you know, business related or whatever, I like to keep the receipt so I can file it away for taxes. And if I'm on the go or I don't want to file it away right away, I can just pop the receipts into this envelope and keep it in the finances section. This little monogram 
J with the bow on it is from the Fox and Pip. She sells these in her shop. I don't know if she has any currently, but those are from her shop and she does sell them. Then I have this one that is titled Codes. This is for coupon codes that I keep for shops. And I have another one of these little vellums that I made for myself that says Sweeter Than Pumpkin Pie. My cover that says Coupon Codes. And let's show you guys a blank page. That's what that looks like. It's just nice to be able to track codes. I oftentimes have them everywhere and I get really confused and just lose track of them. So it's nice to have them all in one spot. Then this one is called Memory. I don't actually have the insert printed out for this one. I still need to print it out, but I haven't done it yet. So that's what that looks like. Then I have this vellum here that says turn to page 394. If you're a Potter fan, that will be familiar to you. It's just a little reference to um, Snape, which is a character from Harry Potter, and I love it. So I went ahead and printed it on vellum. I purchased the like the artwork from Etsy, and then I printed it on vellum there in black ink. And then I have another Fox and Pip bow vellum here. And then this is like probably one of my favorite things that I've been wanting to put in a planner for forever. And it's a postcard that is probably the funniest thing I've ever seen. And honestly, I just love it so much. It is Snape. And if you've seen Legally Blonde and you've seen Harry Potter, then this will make sense to you. But it's really, really funny if you've seen both of them. Uh, if you haven't, you probably just think I'm really odd, but I think it's really cute and funny. So I love this and I have that in the back there. And then ideally my insert would go in here and then this would be behind the insert. I just haven't put the insert in. So things are a little bit mixed up, but I did go ahead and print out some lyrics to one of my favorite songs it is Here Comes the Sun. And it's just a really, it's really pretty and I really like it. So I went ahead and foiled it and it just is, I don't honestly, lyrics foiled are so beautiful. If you guys have a song that means a lot to you or if you have like a wedding song or just a song that got you through a good you know like a happy time or a bad time that you know helped you out i think it's kind of cute to have song lyrics in your planner so i have that in the back there and then my cover which is out of place but you guys get the gist and then back here this is from the foxy fix this little plastic thing here and it's four photos or cards, I don't know, but it's got two slots in here as you can see and then two, like, well, it doesn't have two slots in the back, but you can kind of, you know, put them both in here facing different directions. So what I did is I went ahead and put some photos in here. So I printed out some like fall photography as backgrounds for each of the sides. And then I placed in photos of like friends and family and these quotes that I have in here are actually from like the same artwork that I used on those other vellum pages. It probably looks familiar. And I just printed them on vellum and foiled them and then stuck the vellum in here. So it's just a little bit of layering, kind of a little scrapbooky. Uh, I left them pretty simple. This bow is from Crafts by Towie. And yeah, I just printed everything out and foiled a few things and just kind of collaged it together for the back here just so I could have some pictures. I really always like to have photos in my planner. And then this page lifter is from Foxy Fix. I think it's actually upside down now that I look at it, but this is really nice if you have a ring bound planner to have something like this because if you guys, if you have a ring bound planner, you'll know that sometimes your pages kind of get stuck underneath. So this kind of helps you just kind of like pull everything out and keep it nice and not get stuck underneath it when you close the planner. So I've got that in the back there. And then here I have, it's a very simple, I don't have too much in here. So I just have these sticky notes that are from my nose addiction. They're some of my favorites. And then I have a couple of fall sticker sheets in here. This is from the sweet planner. This one is beautiful. It is from clever gal crafts. And she sent this to me as some happy mail. She never sold these in her shop, but she sent me like one or two sheets of these and I refuse to use them because I think they're so beautiful and they are just done to perfection. She's such a like perfectionist when she, when it comes to making her anything in her shop. I mean, everything is impeccable. So I have not touched these and I will probably save them for forever. And then I have another sheet of this um, same paper. So that's pretty much it. And if you're wondering, that's what the back pockets look like. So you just have this one larger pocket and then you have a teeny tiny like secretarial pocket. Um, I can stick this in here so you guys can see. So it's just a small secretarial pocket. 
So that is the entire setup. I'm gonna do a quick kind of flip through of the whole thing. That way, if um, you guys wanna just kind of see a quick version, um, or I don't know, sometimes I like to flip through my planner slowly just to see everything, but I like to flip through it quickly just to kind of see how it all flows because it's easier to see it like that. So we'll just do a quick little flip through. Um, I won't really talk too much about where everything is from, but yeah. So we've got the dashboards there. I really enjoy, oddly, I really like to flip through each kind of section like this because I feel like that kind of gives you a nice overview of what the planner looks like. Um, and that's kind of how I started out to figure out how I was gonna put it all together because I was a little bit nervous setting up a ring bound, but I kind of thought, okay, divider and something cute in every section and then after I did that I went ahead and added more and did some layering and it you know kind of all came that, together so. yeah I'll just do a quick little flip through here All right, so thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this flip through and the little chatty bits in the beginning if you guys sat through and listened to them. I don't know if any of you did, but if you did, thanks. And yeah, I'm really enjoying this planner. I hope you guys, you know, think it looks as cool as I do. And I'm hoping to do a holiday setup, so we'll see if I do end up doing a holiday setup, I will definitely share on my channel. And yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.